I'm really sorry guys about this camera slash lighting issue. I'm really trying to fix it. Um, I really I asked for a new camera for my birthday, which is in May, so hopefully by then I'll have something better to film videos on because right now I'm using um, my iPhone because my other camera doesn't really work either. Um, I just really want to get back into this and I really want my videos to be good quality. But today I want to do um, sort of like a best of 2013 video, uh, beauty products wise. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I have um, some makeup, some skin care, some hair care to show you. Uh, I'm gonna start with hair because I only have two things I want to talk about. The first one is this Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal. Um, it's sort of like a leave-in treatment and it has argan oil which is my favorite thing to use for like a hair serum. Um, it's Yeah, it's a nourishing styling treatment and I had gotten a little sample size of this in my Ipsy bag. Um, or birch box. I think it was Ipsy, but I got a sample size and I bought the full size because I really liked it. So I've been using that and I noticed it makes my hair so soft. I don't really have any split ends, which I need a haircut and I don't even have split ends. Um, but I really love this. Moving on with the um, sexy hair, my favorite hairspray is the Big Sexy Hair um, Spray and Play Harder um, hairspray. This stuff, oh, I love it. Gives so much volume. Let me spray it in my eye. Mmm. Pump it up, girl. I love this stuff. It keeps my hair really voluminous and shiny, and it, and it doesn't move. So, I guess I'll do skin, because I only have three skincare things. And the first is my the toner I've been using for a while now, and it's the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner. This, um, this t is a toner water that is a mineral rich sea breeze um, captured in a bottle. It treats your face to cooling aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying herbs for a smooth, balanced skin. And I have red skin really, really badly underneath all of this. It's really bad, it's red, and so I need anything I can that's gonna help tone down that, ooh, <laughs> help tone down that redness. So there's that. And then um, going along with that, no, I have three, did I say two or three skincare? Anyway, this sort of is a makeup, but I want to say more of a skincare because it's a, um, vitamin, it's the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Prep Spray, and, um, this really helps with my redness, personally. I do this every single day, um, and this is also pore minimizing. I don't really notice, um, that it minimizes my pores too much, and it's oil absorbing, which in the summer I get, um, my skin gets pretty oily, but now it's getting dry, but this is still helpful for my dry skin. It just, it get, it's just an added sort of hydration that I really need. And the last skincare is the Ola Hendrickson Pure Truth, you can't even see it. Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. This is sort of something you're supposed to mix with the Ula Hendrickson Truth Serum. I use it by itself just because too much vitamin C aggravates my skin and help and kind of makes me break out. So I just use this. This um this I'm pretty sure has well it does have vitamin C, but it, what is the main ingredient? If I can remember. Rose hip oil, that's what it is. It activates skin's natural um, reparative ability to reveal skin's youthful state, bright, resilient, and radiant. Um, a little bit of vitamin C is really good for ev anyone, everyone. It brightens, it lightens, tightens, does everything in one little serum. I use this every morning. I don't like to use this at night as much, but I use it every morning before anything. Next. I think I did all the skincare. One, two, yeah. Um, next makeup. Best, um, primer. Can't go wrong with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The original one I use. I know there's like a ton of them, but this is my favorite one. Just the, um, original Photo Finish Oil Free Primer. I've tried 
almost every primer. So many, so, so many. And I have the best luck with this one. This one keeps my makeup on the longest, um, keeps my oil down the longest. My makeup doesn't get as patchy when I use this one. And that goes hand in hand with the foundation that you wear. So again, I've tried almost every foundation at the Sephora that I work at. Almost every single one. I've tried drugstore, high-end, mid-end, MAC, you name it, I've tried it. Best luck with, in combination with the um, Smashbox primer, is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15-Hour um, Wear Hydrating Foundation. Oh my god, this wears like a dream. It really does. I love it. Um, I used to, well, I actually exchanged my Smashbox Liquid Halo for this one because the Liquid Halo wasn't working for me at all. It wore off so fast. It it didn't give enough coverage, even though it's supposed to be buildable. It wasn't buildable. This one layer, I'm good, and it stays throughout an entire nine-hour shift. It doesn't move. So that's why I like this one. Um, best concealer. This one's mostly for under eyes. I wouldn't use this for blemishes just because it's a highlighting and brightening concealer. Um, it's the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is in the color Chantilly, I think that's how you say it. But um, next time I buy this, I think I mentioned this in my last video, next time I buy this, I'm going to get the next color up. I think this is just a tad too light for me. But yeah. If you even can see, yeah, this is, this is awful. I'm sorry. It, it's a highlighting concealer. It's, ugh, for under eyes. Love it. Love it. Um, best eyeshadows of, um, 2013. All around. This is just an example. Urban Decay. Ooh. Urban Decay. Urban Decay eyeshadows. Can't go wrong. I personally like them better than MAC eyeshadows. Oh, I love eyeshadow, MAC eyeshadows. I just love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I don't, they're just, ugh, the pigment, the colors. I, I mean, I know some people have fallout with them. I don't have fallout with them. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know. The next thing I'm picking up is Best Eyeliner. Oh, actually, I have two eyeliners. Sorry, I forgot about this one. Best liquid liner. My favorite is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. Love it. I just, I get the best wing when I use this one. It's the felt tip pen. Obsessed. I sell it all the time at work. Um, best pencil liner. This one might be a little shocker to some people because I was shocked when I tried it and I realized how flippin' amazing it was. It's the, um, let me just see the name. The Buxom Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the color Call Me. It's just a black liner. I don't, these are better than the Urban Decay ones. They're better. They're amazing. They don't move. They, I use this on my tight line. I tight line with this and it doesn't move. Props to you Buxom because these are freaking incredible. And I wish I had every single color. This one... I did happen to receive in gratis, but I, I do plan on buying the rest of them because, wow, they're so nice. Okay, best mascara, hands down. Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, 100% my favorite. I love this one, the brush, it, it, no words. I've never had a mascara curl my lashes like this one. Oh my god, just it does everything. I love it so much. It doesn't clump. It's it's not too wet. It's not too dry. The formula is amazing. Oh, I love it. I already have another one waiting for me when I finish this one. Although I have so many um, mascaras to get through before I get to that. But yeah. My favorite. Favorite bronzer. Um, I, I I've been really trying some bronzers too. Now, I do love NARS Laguna, however, it seems to break me out when I have tried it. Um, I get a breakout, like, right here, <laughs> oddly enough. So, I've been going back to, again and again, my Too Faced Milk Chocolate So They. Um, a lot of people think this is orangey. It doesn't come out like that on me, really. I like the way it looks on me. Not too dark. It just, I love it for contouring. So, yeah. There's that, best bronzer. 
personally. My favorite blush, this one is relatively new-ish, um, but my favorite blush has been Benefits Rockateur. It's a really pretty, shimmery, like rose gold color. Looks like that. This camera is horrible. But it's so pretty. It just gives a really natural glow almost. I love it. I love it. I love it. Benefit Rockateur. It's time to rock for a rush of heat. Sweep this provocative powder on cheeks. I love it though. I love it for every day. Um, favorite highlighter for when I want to be really, really, really glowy, like today. Um, MAC Whisper of Guilt. This thing, I don't think it's ever going to run out. I got this probably over a year ago when they released the An Extra Dimension collection. And I use it all the time. And it's not going down, like I'm not hitting pan, so that's good because I flip and love it. And if they ever re-promote these, I'll buy another one because I love it that much. And then um, my favorite eyelash curler. This, it really does matter which eyelash curler that you use. And my favorite one is the Tarte one. This one just has bedazzles, but usually it's just purple. I love the handles. They're perfect. It curls nicely when I want to curl. Hands down, best eyelash curler. And then the last thing, oh no, two more things. I'll do this first. My favorite brush is, um, is a tie. It's a tie between Sigma and MAC. Probably not surprised. These are probably the two best brush brands I have personally tried. Um, but yeah, trying to make all my brushes be nice quality. It's a very expensive task, but I'm working at it. Okay, and last... My favorite lipstick of 2013. My favorite brand of lipstick in general, actually. My favorite color to wear every day um, is Urban Decay Naked. It's a pinky nude. Let's see if you'll be able to see it. But I just, it's such a nice everyday color. And these, this entire line of lipsticks, they stay on so ridiculously long and they don't dry your lips out. So if you're looking for a lipstick that does not come off and does not dry your lips out, get every single one of these. Just do it. Okay, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is my best of 2013. Um, stick around next year for the best of 2014. And stick around even sooner for my next empties video because peep this bag, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to get a sneak peek of empties. This thing is full, full, full. So that's coming within the next couple days because I have a lot of days off this week. You all have a great, great day. And I will talk to you in the next one. Do-do-do!